DVB Link just came out with a beta software. Now I have been using a DB Link on my old Synology DS211J NAS and it's only got 128 meg of memory. It will not even run the HD home run server. But anyway, I've been running the DB Link server on my NAS for uh, I don't know, three or four years probably. But anyway, it's awful slow, and I installed the uh, new uh, uh, add-ons for my uh, uh, Android devices, and it loads and works extremely slow because, like I say, my old uh, NAS was running the server. Anyway, it, it's just too slow to work right. So what I'm trying to do right now, I have one of these little... Uh, uh, window Intel window 10 boxes that cost me $130 but anyway it's a little micro PC that's connected to my TV through my uh, Denon AVR but anyway what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna see if I can install this server onto this little micro PC which runs all the time anyway I never shut it off so well, let's see what happens okay I installed it now we're gonna install this part right here and not sure how it's going to work. So this is a test. So this is a first chance, first look at uh, installing it on this little PC. And again, it's, you've got a lot more power than a little NAS does, so hopefully when it installs, it'll work a lot better. But again, this is for their beta and number two beta of uh, their software. So right now, it's still waiting. Okay, I will accept it. And there again, this is a first install for me on my uh, little micro computer, Windows 10 computer, Intel driven. Now this will probably be extremely boring, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it for about a minute and see what happens. Okay, it finally installed, so now it says require activation. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to activate the trial. Activate. Activation will take about 10 seconds, so I will see if it's activated. And then when I get done, I will have to go to sources and add my um, activated. Now I'll add my uh, Schedules Direct uh, TV Guide, so, okay, I will hold on and let me go ahead and, uh, let's see if I can figure this one out, go to Sources, So now this one is my older tuner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. So I go ahead and set up those tuners because it's going to take a little while to set that up. So just bear with me and I'll be back to you later. Anyway, I'll just give you a little quick, quick glance of what it's doing. Uh, it's scanning the uh, 3 out of 68 uh, different channels. And if you notice down there, it says not encrypted channels only. So if I uncheck that, then it will uh, look for encrypted channels also. So, uh, but anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, it's still scanning. And if you notice, they found services 3. Found services two and low and three, and found services six. So that the one is six. That is my um, channel thirty-one in my, but it has one one major channel, high depth channel, and five other sub channels, which are um, standard definition channels. But anyway, there's a total of six channels under that one frequency. But anyway, it's still uh, searching. So I'll get back to you. Okay, the scan has completed, so we're going to go ahead and click finish. I 
Okay, now what we're going to do here, since we've already done the scanning, uh, please select, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to select TV1. Okay, now what it's doing is copying the channels that we went through all that scan procedure. It's copying that channel information that it scanned into the other one. So we don't have to do all those scans again. Now this one here, this is my, uh, the other one, my uh, new tuner. And I'm not sure I even want to use that at this point in time. So let me try this one here, see what this one does. Now I'm not familiar with that one. Because normally I only have four show up, one, two, two tuners in a box, a device, and three, four in my other one. So I have no idea why these other four popped up here. So I'll see what happens. Okay, now we've got those. Okay, now we have to set up the APG sources. Okay, the XML file. Okay. Now my XML, file, XML TV files from Schedule Direct, uh, they're located on my uh, NAS. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and point it to that direction. So let me go ahead and set that up and then I'll get back with you. Okay, I've got everything set up now and we shall see how it performs. But anyway, uh, I got the latest current and again this is 6.0 beta. Beta 2, as a matter of fact. Sources. Uh, one thing I did notice, it, it really doesn't seem like it's running any faster on my little uh, microcomputer versus running on my little uh, NAS, my older NAS. It's only got 128 meg of memory. But anyway, uh, this is what I've gotten so far, the EPG sources. XML TV channels. Okay, these are all my channels. Move them over here. Like I said, that's the ones that they found on the scan. Favorites, I have not set up any favorites yet. Uh, logos, channel settings. And EPG sources. Okay, now set them under default. So it is the TV source number one, XML TV. But uh, it does work. Okay, so schedules direct. That is my TV guide. Settings. Pretty much here, I have not changed anything. Security. Recorder. Now since I do not have an external hard drive in this little uh, box that I've got, this little microcomputer, uh, doesn't have any internal storage. Uh, so I'm using a little SD card that's plugged into it, 32. But anyway, this is just a proof of concept running on this little box. Uh, diagnostics. Okay, now if we were streaming one, it would show the uh, diagnostics on there, but right now I'm not streaming anything. But anyway, that was all the setup. Uh, done. Again, I thought it could be a little bit faster than it is. So, anyway, let's close that out. And close that out. And go to the DVD link viewer and the player. Okay, now again, this one here is running on my little uh, Windows 10.
the great bill. Plus, Home Advisor's True Cost Guide helps you get a fair price by showing you the cost of similar jobs in your area. I would say Home Advisor is a very easy way to find a home contractor, and for me, it's the only way. And best of all, it's completely free. No fees or credit card required. That's why we go back to Home Advisor time after time. Go to HomeAdvisor.com today to get started on your next project. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little, there again, this is my first time running this, testing this on my computer, and these are new apps for that beta, uh, so bear with me, this is, okay, so this is very similar to the other one, Cozy TV, and I have not had an opportunity to put the uh, channel logos in, but anyway, there's DVD Link Player and DVD Link Viewer, okay, what I want to do now, I'm going to go over to my NVIDIA, uh, player and uh, nexus player and see how it runs on that one so i'll be switching over to the nexus player and see how that works okay so now i'm at my nexus player and i am going to test the dvb dvb lake logic uh app running on my uh, the server is actually running on my little windows pc micro pc if you will but anyway, it was supposed to be a lean back icon, but it is not there. So, let me go over to apps. And this is their old one. This one blends into their live, the uh, uh, Google Live TV. But anyway, here is the new one that just added. And this is the one that uses the back, back end running on my little uh, Windows 10 computer. And again, I have not uh, put any of the channel uh, icons or anything like that on there because I just uh, loaded it. Uh, let's see. I'm just testing to see how long it takes to load, which is really not too long. So that's what it looks like. I'm looking for one of my high def channels to see how that works. We'll try that one. And again, this is the high def channel. So it actually loaded pretty quickly. Keep a straight face. Who laughed first? Who broke up first? When they should. It's kind of even. Close captioning. Okay, I am. It is playing in Dolby Digital also. I uh, don't particularly care for the closed captioning, it's too big and I'm not sure that I can uh, change the font size of it or anything like that. Uh, it does not play very smoothly, it's jerky, perky, so apparently this does not work very well. And then I don't know because if it's running but on my... Uh, uh, micro PC computer, the server, or if since this is just a beta, they have not got it uh, optimized yet, which is quite possible. And then again, it's possible that I have not uh, set the proper settings up, but, but again, um, I'm just using it, I'm just testing it. Video deinterlacing, let's turn that one off and see if that has any effect on the channel. Again, I'm looking for the high def channel. Oh, I am. I do not want to record that. 
Anyway, just bear with me on this one. So apparently, this really needs a, a, a lot of work to do to it because, like I say, it is still a beta. Okay, obviously the time is off also. Oh, no, let me look. Bear with me again. Like I say, I'm, this is the first time using this, testing it. I turned off the uh, deinterlacing, uh, and that did not help it. So, apparently, this one is not ready yet for prime time. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview of that. Now, I'm going to test the uh, DV Bleak uh, client running on my Transmart R68, and that is using the RK. 3368 SOC system on a chip. So, okay, the, the DV Blink Theater. Okay, now this only works on their uh, Beta 6, and they're on Beta 2 right now, so it's pretty limited, but let me show you what it looks like running on this uh, um, rock chip hardware. It's a little tricky to uh, to use, as you can see. I'm trying to use a mouse. Okay, this one here, HD. Let's click on that and click play. We get subtitles, get closed captioning, and we can have the English version. And since I'm just testing it today for the first time, uh, I don't think there's any way to uh, adjust the closed captioning fonts. They're too big. Video-wise, it seems to be playing fairly well. And I'm not getting Dolby Digital out of it either. I'm only getting stereo. But... Uh, Video-wise, it seems to be playing okay. And would not play at all on the next and say it was horrible. But this one seems to be playing much better. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. So, that was it.